Hi everyone. Thank you for joining me today. There are three big current trends which our new products are aligned with. E-mobility, last mile delivery logistics, and the hashtag van life movement. So I am thrilled to introduce our new fully electric van from Mercedes-Benz to North America, the all new e-Sprinter. This workhorse plays a major role in our ambition 2039 strategy. Our plan to make our entire fleet of new passenger cars and vans carbon neutral across all stages of the value chain, partly including offsets. Additionally, it's a milestone towards our electric only approach with which we aim to offer all electric vehicles wherever market conditions allow by the end of this decade. So let me show you this all rounder, which has an impressive combination of efficiency, range and load capacity. And it will be produced right here at our plant in Charleston, South Carolina, as well as in our plants in Germany. At market launch here in North America in the second half of 2023, the e-Sprinter will launch with a long wheelbase and high roof configuration and with the largest battery capacity available. The load capacity is an impressive 495 cubic feet and the permissible gross vehicle weight is 4.25 tons, meaning it can carry enough stuff to fill a studio apartment. But let's talk about the e-Sprinter's most important attributes, the brand new drive system consisting of three modules. This allows for the utmost flexibility in the development and design of different conversions and superstructures, which makes it extremely efficient to adjust to different market conditions and future models. The front module carries all the high voltage components and can be combined with all variants, regardless of the chosen wheelbase and battery size, without modifications. The second one is located in the underbody, between the axles, the safest place at the vehicle, and houses the high voltage battery. The battery location between the axles makes for a low center of gravity and therefore better handling. The third module is the rear modules, which is completely newly developed electrically driven rear axle and houses the powerful electric motor. The combination of the efficient motor and the electric rear axle are being used for the first time in a battery electric van from Mercedes-Benz. This component was designed so that it could be used in all variants of the all-new e-Sprinter. So let's talk about the battery, the heart of every electric vehicle. As mentioned before, here in North America, we will launch with the largest battery available, which has a usable energy capacity of 113 kilowatt hours. So what is so special about our e-Sprinter battery? It is certainly the lithium iron phosphate technology. First of all, the chemistry eliminates the use of cobalt and nickel. It is also ideal for light commercial vehicles because of its durability. The all new e-Sprinter can charge with both AC and DC. When charging at a wall box with AC, the onboard charger has a maximum output of 9.6 kilowatts while the maximum output at fast charging stations is up to 115 kilowatts. This means for the 113 kilowatt hour battery, going from 10 to 80% battery capacity takes just over 40 minutes. To make charging as easy as possible for our customers, we are excited to offer our charging ecosystem, Mercedes Me Charge for the all new He Sprinter in the US. We integrated multiple different charging networks into one. That means availability to nearly 65,000 chargers. It also means one payment method for all providers once you set up your account in the Mercedes Me Connect app. As for the electric motor, we have chosen a permanent magnet synchronous motor because of performance and efficiency. Available as either 100 or a very efficient use case or 150 kilowatts of peak output for more performance, for example, for trailer towing. Both deliver up to 295 pound foot of torque for at least 30 seconds. Now I would like to show you how we support the driver to increase the range. Three different drive programs and five recuperation stages assist you in maintaining an efficient driving style. Both functions enable you to optimize your electrical consumption and this, the range of your electrically powered van. 
The e Sprinter has five recuperation modes from D, no recuperation, to D, strong recuperation, available, which can be adjusted via the gear shift paddles on the steering wheel. The greater the recuperation, the faster you decelerate, and therefore, the more energy your vehicle will regenerate. A special advantage is our automatic recuperation function, D Auto, which assists the driver automatically recuperating. The Eco Assist in the dashboard shows the driver when to lift his foot off the pedal, and then the vehicle can choose automatically the right level of recuperation. The three drive programs control the drive particularly efficiently or focuses on higher comfort. Finally, the e Sprinter is available with our latest generation of MBUX, which stands for Mercedes-Benz User Experience, a new level of in-van experience. The system has learning capabilities and intelligent voice control with natural language understanding and a verbal cue of, Hey Mercedes! One of my favorite functions operated by MBUX is the preconditioning, meaning the driver can preheat or pre-cool the vehicle before he gets in. So besides having a warmed up seat in the winter time, it also helps out the vehicle. It means the vehicle doesn't have to consume energy while driving to reach the right temperature. It uses energy while still being plugged to the wall box. The e Sprinter will be available in our dealerships across the US and Canada in the second half of this year. As you can imagine, we are very excited to be partnering with our customers who've announced their own ambitious emissions targets and will be able to fully support their goals with our electric vans. To sum it up, we're proud to set a new milestone and look forward to support many industries, especially in the Courier Express and parcel services. The all-new e-Sprinter is the very definition of our strategy to make the most desirable vans and, of course, to lead an electric.